every smooth surface that you encounter, it required some type of friction to get there. What's happening, y'all? This is Mike D with Black Fathers Now, where we're bringing the village to the brothers. Every couple of weeks, you can look forward to a quick inspirational message or a thought-provoking guest with knowledge and wisdom all geared towards helping you be the best father that you can be. We're bringing the village to you. Now is your turn to do something with what you learn. All right, y'all. Let's go. What's going on, fellas? This is Coach Mike D. Mr. Double Down on you with another episode of Black Fathers Now. Now, look, man, I hope everybody is doing what they are called to do in this specific moment. That's it. I hope you're doing what you're called to do in this specific moment. And if you are not, snap into it. It's time to do it. All right. Well, dig this, man. Today's quick episode is all about friction. It's all about friction. You know, it's interesting. um, When you think about the concept of efficiency, efficiency is really all about removing friction, right? How do you make things smoother? How do you make things happen faster? And in our desire to be more efficient, A lot of times we focus on removing friction. Think about that, removing friction, because friction at times is difficult, right? Think about, you know, discourse between you and somebody else in conversation or disagreeing on a concept or a principle. A lot of times that results in some type of friction. Okay, but I want to leave something with you. Friction is necessary to make something smooth. See, as parents, we always approach life or we approach what with, you know, what we do through the spirit of we want to make things better for our children. Really, what a lot of us are saying is we want to make things easier for our children. We want to make things as smooth as possible for our children. We want to, you know, deal with all the headwinds, deal with all the issues so that they can minimize the friction in their life. But the challenge is this. Friction is necessary to make something smooth. We desire for things to be smooth, but we try to bypass the friction to get there. When I think about personally, when I've grown the most, when I've had the most aha moments, when I've really had epiphanies or when I've come to, you know, various stages of life in which I've elevated, you know, beyond where I was prior to, usually, if I'm really honest about it, there was some level of discourse and some friction that took place to smooth things out for me to get to another level, for me to elevate to another trajectory or to another, you know, segment or or whatever in my life. But the reality is friction is necessary. And so friction is necessary to make things smooth. We cannot deny people the opportunity of dealing with friction. Now, we can try to make things better You know, maybe they don't have to deal with the friction as long as we had to deal with it, but we can not deny people the opportunity of experiencing friction. Because again, you must go through that process. You must deal with friction if you want things to ultimately become smooth. We cannot just pass on something smooth to the next generation. We cannot just pass on something smooth to our children. We cannot just pass on something smooth to our successor. We have to pass on principles and concepts and insight and wisdom. We have to pass on, you know, how we operate. So they need to witness us doing things in the right way. But we also have to encourage them to embrace the friction. Because, again, discourse is necessary. 
Now, how you discourse is a whole different conversation, but discourse is necessary. I don't want yes men around me 24 seven. If you're around me and everything that I do is perfect and oh, everything that I say is great and every nugget that I drop is profound and life changing, I'm going to be honestly straight up with that individual and say, you're full of shit. Pardon my French. Seriously, because I know everything that comes out of my mouth is not profound. You're blowing smoke right now. You're acting like a yes man. There are times in which you need to tell me like, dude, you could have done this differently or, hey, I don't agree with that. And here's why. Let's have discourse. Let's have some friction because ultimately that's how I grow. That's how most people grow. If you really look at virtually every smooth surface in your home, every smooth surface that you encounter, it required some type of friction to get there. So what I'm literally dropping on this quick episode is that dads, black men, black fathers, brothers who are mentors, father figures, whatever your role is in the life of someone else, if you're a husband, if you're a partner, whatever it is, whatever your role is, I'm going to encourage you to not strive to make things smooth. Strive to prepare those around you or those that you encounter to embrace and lean into the friction because then they have a sense of accomplishment with regard to allowing or helping something to become smooth. They were a part of that friction process, all right? But again, friction is necessary. We cannot avoid friction. We can't avoid discourse. We can't avoid disagreements. We can't avoid conflict, right? We need to lean into it. We need to lean into it with the right mindset. We need to control our emotions. But the reality is friction is necessary. All right. Well, hey, I hope this is one that really lands on you because, (sighs) fellas, we need it. As black men, we need this. We need to understand that friction is okay. It's necessary. It's good. And it's required if we want to create something that's smooth. All right. So let's lean into it, fellas. Let's lean into it. Let's make it happen. And let me know what you think about this one, man. Shoot me an email, blackfathersnow at gmail.com. Hit me on IG, on TikTok, on Facebook. Find Black Fathers Now. Shoot a message, man. Share this thing out. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Leave some ratings. Leave some comments. Share this thing out with 10 brothers, man. 10 brothers need to hear this message. Share it with them. But then also have a conversation about it. Talk to them. Share your thoughts. Maybe you totally disagree with me, right? If so, let me know about it. But start a group chat and chat with the fellas about it. Again, that's where this discourse starts. Let's get this thing started. All right. Well, as always, until next time, y'all be blessed, well, and wise. And I'll holler at you. Peace. Yo, fellas, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And always, always, always visit BlackFathersNow.com as well as follow Black Fathers Now on virtually every social media platform you can think of. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. Just follow us and uh, and engage with us, man. Look forward to hearing from you. And uh, I guess until next time, I'll holler at you. Peace.